All right, Wade Eck from Heat. I'm here with Dada 5000. Uh, you're the co-main event of uh, Bellator, Bellator 149 in Houston. Um, just curious what your thoughts on Kimbo are. You know, a lot of people uh, uh, are quite aware of him, his reign in MMA. Just curious what your thoughts are. Basically, my thoughts of Kimbo Slice is this. This is a guy that's been hyped up, you know. Um, he's fought some decent opponents, some great opponents, but did he fight them inside of their prime? You know, we've all seen the Shamrock, you know, bout, you know, if this fight would have happened, you know, when it was supposed to happen, no doubt it would have been a different outcome. You know, when you look at him, he's been babied, he's been carried his whole career. Either he fought guys that were past their prime or he fought guys, you know, that were not up to par. You know, now he's going to be standing inside of the ring with an individual that when he swing, I'm going to swing back and I'm going to stand right inside of his chest. You know what I'm saying? To give him the worst night of his life. Hey, but let me... Let me ask this. When you look at MMA, what do MMA stands for? What is the definition of MMA? Mixed martial arts. Not in my world. Not where I come from. MMA stands for mass, mutilation, and annihilation. And that's what I'm going to bring. TNT, a lot of thunder, to that Bellator cage come February 19th. And what do you say to people and, and to Kimbo who says you've uh, ripped off his style? Uh, he's delusional. You got to get this guy some glasses. You know, I always had hair at the top of my head. You know, um, I always, you know, was an individual who put a lot of thought and action into everything, you know, that I did. You know, um, he was a fighter. I was a promoter. I gave other individuals opportunities when he tried to close the door. So definitely, I totally disagree. Again, he been lost his identity when he forgot where he come from. I still stay inside the hood. I'm from the same place to this day. So I know in and everything that's a problem in my community, and that's what my focus is. It's not his. Now, you mentioned your promotion. Uh, I believe it's a, a hybrid of uh, mixed martial arts and boxing. Is that true? Yes, we're BYB, Backyard Brawls Extreme Fighting Series. We are the gray area between MMA. We're not MMA. We're not boxing. So, you know, I'm glad that people don't get it confused like, you know, we're in competition. You know, um, we make the weekends. A lot of individuals, they want to fight. You know, we're the ones that's giving them an opportunity because when you look at styles, styles make fights, right? And most of these gamuts are political, you know? Politics, you know, play, play, play a legitimate part, you know, but we, you know, go through the same um, policies and procedures with medical and this, that, or the third, but we're just giving individuals an opportunity so they can live out their dream and continue to be a fighter. Now, you obviously have a lot of street fights, but you're a little bit new to the MMA game. Do, do you wish you had uh, started MMA sooner? Um, believe it or not, man, I'm such a brute, man. I'm like over five, 600 pounds on the bench press. So if I get an arm, a neck, or whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm going to rip it regardless. If I don't snatch the shit off, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hurt you so bad you're going to be a, you're gonna be a target. You know, I just may just hurt him up real bad, and then I may look like I'm a five-star fighter in the ring when I knock him out because he can't swing back. He's a wounded duck. Now, do you are you fearful of anything? Do you does he bring any qualities to the cage that you're fearful of? I mean, he got two arms, you know, and uh, there's a possibility that he could get lucky. But you know, what I'm saying, I mean, I'm prepared. You know, this is not my first rodeo. You know, I've been inside some wars before. You know, um, like you said, he has a name. That's about all he has a name. You know, a lot of people when they say, hey, listen, when you look at Kimbo Slice, what do you think? Well, he's garbage. So how could I let garbage beat me? Because if they already look at him as garbage, then if he beat me, then whatever garbage is, then I'm under that. Um, do, you, do you have any respect for him that he did, he was the first to kind of go from doing the backyard brawls to going to the big show? I mean, I mean I'm going to be honest with you. I always wanted the guy to do good because that's just the, that's just just the type of person I am. He was fighting Ken Shamrock a couple months ago when Shamrock had him panned out. And I'm like, oh shit, is over. I'm yelling at the TV like, nigga, get up, get up. So that should let everybody know that I was rooting for him. This is totally different because he's fighting me. Is no hope for you. Now you mentioned Ken. Uh, can you give me your thoughts on the main event, uh, Hoist Gracie versus Ken Shamrock? Wow, two legends. You know, they fought a couple times before, so it's like it's going to be awesome to see them get inside the ring one more time, you know, and may the best man win. I mean, I'm, I'm actually fans of both gentlemen, you know, but just like in my fight, it can only be, you know what I'm saying, one. Um, and I would like to see Ken Shamrock, you know, come to BYB, you know, when it's all said and done because he's a founder, I mean, with the knuckle game, you know, so I think that could be a kickstart to rejuvenate, uh, rejuvenate and rejuvenize his career and his love for the sport. And my last question for you, how long do you plan on fighting? What does the future hold for Dada 5000? I mean, you know, 
I'm too hot. You know, when you look at we're inside of 2015, right? You know, going into 2016, I feel like I'm 185,000 light years ahead of everybody else. So I could be around for another 100 years kicking ass. You know, so I really feel like whatever Bellator, you know what I'm saying, would want to do, you know, whatever we can, you know, put together, I feel like it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great for the people. You know, I'm a brute. I'm a slugger. I'm a warrior, you know, and I'm, uh, and I'm just knowledgeable about the sport, you know, and I'm going to come inside here and we're going to put on a clinic. I'm going to put on a clinic. He's going to be the recipient, you know what I'm saying, of all this blunt force trauma. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <clears throat>